All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. And to all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. And to all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the end of the video because we have a lot to cover and we're going to talk about top three stocks to add. And the first one in this list is a bonus and it's a little bit speculative and we're going to look at it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are. The first one is CLBS and I definitely stated it's a speculative stock. I posted this back in February 20th. So I'm being bold here. I'm going to show you guys, you know, how we've been writing this and over at the Patreon, we have a large group already of investors and those of you that haven't joined, I just want you guys to know that for 13 cents a day, you can get yourself into the first tier, literally $4 a month. Once those slots get filled up, you know, it's for the first 100 that join and those of you that want to join in the other tiers, you're more than welcome to, but for 13 cents a day, you can receive my weekly watch list and the stocks I'm watching throughout the week. So here we are, CLBS, okay? Let's go ahead and pull up that chart. This is a speculative one, but based off of analysis ratings, a lot of investors have actually agreed with the potential I stated. So we saw this hit a high here back in January and run up to $4 and some change, pulled down, and February 20th is right here. It was this weekend, and it dipped right after, right? And it hit its lowest point. We haven't really seen it get close to those lows again. 159 slash 155. You know, that touched it again in March 5th. And that's about it. So right there, that day after, which was a Monday, right? We already saw the potential here for this stock. Okay. The potential was huge because it already hit close to its lows. It ran up. It came back down. And every time it hit back to those lows, it created a support. And so far, we know that 150 seems to be a pretty strong support because it ran up again to 237 and it's pulling back. Now, analysis ratings are shooting this one up to $6 all the way up to $12. So there's big opportunity in the long run. And this run right here from March 5th to the 10th and holding itself up is because it received FDA approval on one of its products and it's going to continue to work on that. So big opportunity here for CLBS. I definitely recommend you guys to check them out and do more due diligence on them to understand the company. Now, the second one, everybody loves this one. Everybody's watching this one and it's PLTR finally showed strength. Now we need to watch carefully for a slight pullback or consolidation. So this one right here is one of our first top three stocks to actually watch or buy now on the dip, right? as we call it. So here we are with the stock. I mentioned it right on the 20th. Let's go ahead and go back to the 20th. So we saw here the strength, right? That's what I was waiting for around that time. And I said, it definitely has to look for some consolidation or a pullback. Well, we certainly saw a pullback. It hit lows here of 22 and then again, pulled back down to $20. I mentioned it again around this time. And I've stated several times over at the Patreon, anything below $20 or anything between $15 to $20 is a steal with PLTR. Seems like $20 is the bottom so far. We haven't touched it again. It got pretty close to it here at $20 and some change. There's a strong support in that area. But we started watching this one as there was strength and I was waiting for a pullback. And that's what I wanted every single investor and viewer to be aware of. And now it's sitting at $23. You definitely want to watch this one carefully and see how it reacts. A lot of strength here in this stock above $20. Anything below it is a steal for the long term, right? That's how you got to think long term. Now, which one's the next one? So this next one is a merger company. It's called Pace, right? It's a SPAC said to merge with Nerdy, a virtual education platform. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but these virtual education platforms are doing pretty well for themselves, the ones that are actually public and companies that are within this sector like Chegg and others that are doing really, really well. Now, this one, I mentioned it on the 20th. We could see here the 22nd, it actually ran up to $11 and some change and it's been pulling down since. Now, the whole hype with SPACs has been a little bit dead and this is kind of one that's kind of under the radar, right? You could see that 
in those lows, $10, highs, $12, you know, not a lot of momentum. Now, the merger is said to happen in Q2, okay? We're almost ending Q1 of 2021. It's bound to happen in Q2. And this is one you want to watch going into April significantly because it's a SPAC merger play, right? You know how these SPACs do. When the merger's announced, things get a little bit hyped. Once the merger's about to happen, there's an anticipatory run, and then it pulls back after that, and it gets back to its realization. But if you are a long-term investor, you want to try to get in on these opportunities as early as possible and at every single pullback. But if you're looking for a quick play, this might be one to look into closer to its anticipatory run because of the merger date actually happening. Now, this stock overall, when I think about Chegg, you know, I think there's opportunity. It's just going to be something that's going to take time, right? Because Chegg didn't run up overnight. You know, it took time to run from where it was at and get to these highs here of 115. It's been pulling back now with the whole reopening and stuff. But overall, these companies have opportunity not just on the shutdowns, but overall in the social distancing style, right? Because post COVID-19, things are going to be a little bit different the way schools are going to do things. And if not, you know, Nerdy isn't just about social distancing. It's also a platform for tutoring. And tutoring has always been used and something convenient for parents and children to excel in school if they're falling behind or need any extra help or sharpening their skills in something. So Nerdy isn't just a shutdown type of uh, play, if not something that has opportunity in the educational sector. And also because it's a merger play, right? The merger is literally starting off at $10. It's sitting at 9 right now. When you think about it, you know, that's literally at the beginning of the SPAC price. And from there on out, you know, the worst that can happen is it goes a little bit lower. But from there on out, all I could see it do is run up once the merger is getting closer to that date, right? Or officially announced. Because right now it's just stated but there's no official date. It just says Q2. Now, my favorite one from the list that has taken a beating, and this is one stock you definitely want to have on your watch list, and we've been riding this one several times, and we talked about this one back on the 20th, and it fell real hard to $13. We caught it at the dip, rode it back up right to $15, $16. Then it dipped again, and at that point, I actually loaded up and rode this one up to $16. So at that dip, I loaded up with a small position, but where I really took a huge position was on that second pullback and I rode it up and I exited my position close to 16 and some change. That was a quick play for me. And then once I saw it dipping again, I've talked about it and briefed on it over at the Patreon. And when it got closer to this $12 mark, that was something that I started to load the boat on. And I'm looking at this as a long-term play now, okay? So I want you guys to be aware that we've touched, again, pretty much these lows of all the opportunities. I've mentioned it and reiterated on it, and we're sitting at it. And if it goes a little bit lower, even the bigger opportunity. But it seems like $12 is a strong support. So catching it at these moments is an opportunity that honestly is probably not going to be seen again okay once we reopen and this stock continues to expand i mean this has been running after that dip and it hit a high here of almost 20 dollars, 19 and some change and the reason why it ran up so much is because of its expansion it's just continues to get legalization in so many other states so look up all that information look up more information on this stock this stock has opportunity and it's sitting right now at 13 dollars we first talked about it here when I knew it was going to dip. You know, it came back up, caught it again really heavy, sold. And then on the way down, I was watching it, catching it at the dip. I didn't catch it exactly at $12. I caught it around $13, which is where it's sitting right now. And I've actually loaded up again on the way down. And I rolled this one up, loaded up on the way down again. And now I'm just waiting to ride this one up again. If it pulls back a little bit more, awesome. Because the lower at these rates go for these share prices, the better. Because I'm thinking about 
the destination, right? That's what we focus on on Invest for Tomorrow, the destination, and we ride the journey. We are hawks looking for opportunities to strike, to ride them up to the destination because that's where we know the destination is up. So as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. These are the top stocks to go ahead and add to your watch list or even consider buying now. And if you guys want to get live updates on what stocks I'm watching, you can join us over at the Patreon. The link is down below in the description. As always, let's make some money.